Hello. And thank you for watching another edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. And this is a rotary dial wall telephone. It's a Western Electric, made for the Bell system. It is 1969 on the parts internal. The network is 969. The base on the back is 69. The uh, receiver on the element here is marked 1969. It is a thermoplastic base. It is in really good shape. There are no scratches, no blemishes. It looks good. There is a little slight blemishes on the handset and right here I believe it is and right up here. It's very very small um, and it'll even look better because just run a coat of polish on it real quick before I send it out. All phones are tested prior to sending for call quality. This one has excellent call quality to it. Uh, it dials out smooth, uh, you know, rings a number, and the ringer works. And the ringer does have an adjustment on the bottom for loud and soft. So there's loud. So let's see who's calling. Hello? Oh, hi mom. Somehow I just knew it was you. Mom, look, I gotta go. I'm real quick. I'm in the middle of something. Yes. Hey, here's here's something for you. Here's a here's something you can ponder for a little bit. Place it on Lucky Dan at Riverside. That's right, Lucky Dan. Bye. That's for all you movie buffs out there. This phone is not modular. It's hardwired, meaning that the the coil is hardwired, the coil coil cord, handset cord, and the line cord is hardwired. If you want to mount it, in other words, it won't fit on a wall plate with the modular jack sticking out of it or whatever, you'll have to line up with a piece of paper, mark these two holes and these holes here, mark it up with the appropriate screws, screw the screw in where you have them marked, and just slide it down. The head of the screw would go in the wider round area and then slide it down and it'll mount that way. That's how they used to do it, believe it or not. In fact, I must have done about at least 20 or 30 of them. The phone is a rotary phone. It uh, dials with the rotary. It, I could give you another insert for the wheel if you don't like it for an additional $5. I can make it an area code, your phone number on it. I can change it. I can make it a black, typical, everyday, everybody uses way for dial tone. Whatever you want. The phone has been adapted to take off, or take it off the four prong adapter because most people have modular jacks now so I'm giving you a pigtail so that you can either plug this in and then plug it into your jack or you, if the phone is 20 feet away you can use a longer modular cord and that way mount it on the wall run this and you'll have a longer cord you can run it completely across the house if you wanted to or over the house and uh, why not if you're gonna bid on it and you're going to get it and you're going to take it out of the box. Don't you want to plug it in and don't you want to have it work? So with that, you must need rotary pulse dial service from your local telephone company. VoIP services, most of them, in fact quite a bit of them, if not all of them, do not work with rotary pulse dial telephones. They work with touchtone DTMF phones. So, with that, that's all we have today. Um, gave you the years on the inside. Uh, it's a nice phone from 1969. It's a red wall telephone and not a whole lot of them out there and uh, not like this. This one is in really decent shape and uh, everything works fantastic on it. So thank you for watching. Tuco Steve's Workbench.